this is like a you know big headline last week was the proposed tax increase if you had yeah. any take on it um i mean so for me i mean i'm a short-term trader so I'll, I get taxed on as ordinary income I'm on you know my trading gains anyway. So I'm already hitting those crazy percentages, the 35, 37%, things like that. So I mean, for me, it doesn't really affect me that much. You know, it's not really gonna affect, uh, they came out with a stat today. It's, it would only affect like 0.3% of the country or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely, I, I mean, I think that something's gonna happen. I, I, I kind of disagreed with your take, but uh, mm -hmm. you, could, you could say your take. And then I'm gonna disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, mine is just, you know, again, it's proposed. Um, the people that have to enact it are those 0.3%, those people that are, you know, the multimillionaires that are gonna hit the hardest. So the person who has to enact that bill is the person that more likely is gonna be affected the most. You know, you look at some of these, you know, what some of these congressmen are worth, it just seems like they're in their own best interest to not want to increase these numbers because they would be the most heavily affected versus the average Joe who was probably the most nervous about it. Um, that's just my own, just some looking out for them personal best interest where I just don't see them wanting to really move the needle that much because they're going to hit the most. Uh, but yeah, I just see, disagree. you got to see the underlying, underlying climate change, uh, cl uh, the underlying political climate changing, mm -hmm. you know, where a few years ago under Trump, this would have been like the most craziest thing to ever be proposed. And now, you know, a democratic led, you know, uh, Congress, I could definitely, definitely see some, we're going to hear more about it later this week. Yeah. I just think, cause these guys are worth a lot. doesn't mean they're not going to make the law. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> things things pretty pretty proposed <laughs> yeah I mean, we'll see but anyways if you trade the Roth you, it's not a problem for you anyway so that's if someone hates it the most you trade that account and Uncle Sam's getting nothing so that's always the easiest answer um, right and I actually saw it speaking of Roth 70% um, I think was the number it was a really high number per, uh, accounts with uh, a uh, Unrealized capital gains over a million dollars, 70% were, were in things like Roth and uh, accounts that are non-taxable anyway. Yeah. Which, so. which was just interesting, interesting to see.